I found myself in a situation of an unplanned pregnancy and I needed a lot of help. I was scared and nervous. I didn't know what to do because I was in an abusive relationship. I was very mentally, physically, and verbally abused uh, by my ex. And I heard about Trotter House through my church. I came in and they welcomed me in and they taught me how to actually love myself and to love my family, love my children, and then help me get out of that relationship. My daughter's name is Purity. She was actually the first child born through Trotter House, and there's gonna be a room dedicated to her. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Without Trotter House, I might have stayed in the abusive situation. I might have turned back to drugs. I might have gave my baby up for adoption, or worse. It makes me feel horrible as a person that I even thought about those things. I searched around, and I found Trotter House the one place that was not judgmental. Now I'm volunteering at Trotter House in childcare, the boutique, reception, and cleaning up. It feels amazing to return the love that I received. I will tell other people that through Trotter House, you can do it all. They just give you the extra help and courage. When I was in high school, I was doing really good, making A's and B's. Um, I was getting a lot of recognition for my grades and I was playing basketball, so I was doing really good. High school graduation was during COVID, so I didn't have a ceremony. It was online, and uh, that was kind of sad because I always look forward to graduating, you know, on the stage and stuff. My parents weren't as supportive because they was on drugs and they was um, in jail off and on. I did my whole years of high school, and after, as I started college, they were still um, doing drugs and stuff. I reached out to them and was telling them how it made me sad and it made me hurt. Throughout college, I was dating my boyfriend that was my boyfriend through high school years, and I ended up getting pregnant with him. I was very scared. I was still 19 at the time. After my baby was born, we never did get married. Um, my parents were still on drugs at the time, and I lived with them, and it was very stressful. And I would be crying a lot, just not knowing what I was gonna do with my son. I felt like I was gonna be the only one taking care of him, and like I wouldn't have no support. I started praying more and um, searching for ways to find some support and resources for my child. And I came across a mom's group on Facebook, and they had mentioned Charter's house. And I, I was like, let me check it out. I instantly called them, and they set up an appointment with me to come in. They was just welcoming from the start. The Charter's House, they love to like talk and get to know you and find ways they can help you and support you. When you come here, you, you don't just get baby stuff um, handed to you. You have to actually earn it. So each time you come, you watch one video and you get 40 points and you can either use them or you can save them for next time and add up to get a big item like a car seat or a stroller. Here they have life skill classes and I love it so much because babies, they grow quickly and there's always things you need to know. You can come here and watch a video and see like teething or milestones, potty training, like all this stuff a mother needs to know, you can find it here. <laughs> I want to be prepared if something comes up, like if a sickness comes up, I want to be prepared and not like be scared, not know what to do. So they really educating me on how to be a better mom. We are the ones that are a safe place when people walk through our door who may have no place else to turn. Their back's against the wall. They've tried everything. They're to the end of their rope. And we are able to meet them right where they are at the end of that rope and let them know there's hope. So we meet them. If they're being abused, we, we help them find a safe place. If they're needing to get off of addiction in some way, we help them with that. If they're needing housing, many living in their cars, many not even being able to eat for many days, looking for food for their other children, we're there for that. Whatever the need is, our mission is to meet them where they are and help them walk through that crisis to be able to not only survive, but to thrive in life. When our clients come into Trotter House, many times they're very fearful, they've been abused, they don't know where to turn. And at Trotter House, we receive them with no judgment. So no judgment here at Trotter House. We are here to love and to serve and to, to give them the guidance they need to be able to thrive in their lives. And here at Trotter House, 
the issue of unplanned pregnancy crosses all economic barriers. It crosses all races. It crosses every part of society. All of us are touched by this issue. So it takes all of us to make a difference to help those in need, whether it's a resource need or it's a decision need, or I don't know how I'm going to do this kind of need, whatever it is, we're here to help talk through what those decisions should be and help you walk through that crisis at that time together. The two beautiful ladies that have shared their story are what we see on a daily basis. There are so many more of those precious ladies out there that we want to reach. We receive no government funding. All of our support is from people like you, from our community. Will you consider a donation to Trotter House or even ongoing support to allow us to continue to reach more of those precious young lives? Please help us.